We already knew that America was racist. We already knew that our politics and our policies were corrupt, um, lacking integrity or ethics, um, and that we could be exploited because as a black American, I've been exploited the entire time that I've been alive. I know from my grandparents and everything that I read in history that that's the way that um, our country treats people like me, but I didn't think that when Trump became president that people's reaction or response would to further erase us. I thought that that would build unity, solidarity, and would kind of unify movements, but um, it was just really infractious. To me, um, the culture became more uh, unsafe for people of color, um, especially organizers that had been on the front line that had invested a lot of time and energy um, into building movements because uh, we were easily to identify and even if we weren't in those protests that followed people immediately subjected us to um, the issues you know like oh this is the Black Lives Matter people I saw people that were doing video streams that were basically tagging that on there so that it would bring back to our movement but that was basically a grassroots response to America's new um, administration. We're all the way down now. We actually had power before Trump came because people were listening to the human rights message. After that, we became less human because our message wasn't the right message. I think people are hustling. I think they feel like if they go out with their brands and their logos and they do that and they stream that they can basically get money um, to say that that's called community engagement. And again, to the detriment of those most marginalized communities that are actually looking for that engagement. If activism doesn't lead to advocacy, and I mean direct advocacy and engagement with community, then it's actually just exploitation on another level. And again, to the detriment of people that are actually victim survivors of trauma that are putting their bodies on the line. We have families that going to an activist meeting and protesting white supremacy and not protesting it in your community or knowing your neighbors. That's not, there's a big difference.